So, 30 years, four official licensed RPGs, countless unofficial and fan games, all over three movies. I do think it speaks volumes to what someone can do with an idea and continue to do with it. I may have my issues with the source material at times, but the one thing I've always respected is its ability to inspire ideas. Tabletop is no exception, both in these direct adaptations and in other indirect manners. As I said early on, it's funny that a work that's composed of stuff Lucas happened to like has been the basis for so many other ideas from countless other people. Storytelling has had that kind of power since its inception, and role-playing games are nothing if not a collective story experience. So after all this, you may ask, which one is the best out of all of these? Personally, I don't think ranking them from best to worst serves any real purpose, especially when all but one of them are out of print. I firmly believe in the concept of system matters. To that end, I'm opposed to the idea of having one system be the universal be-all, end-all. Every game system is going to favor certain styles of play over others, and because of that, it's important to recognize the style of play that best suits you and your group. It's the same principle as a gamer focusing on certain genres over others. There's nothing that will be of universal appeal, no matter how many people try. In that regard, I put the games on a scale between narrative on one end and customization on the other. Which do you prefer will be rooted in which end of the scale you prefer. Do you like simple mechanics with a focus on narration? Go with D6. Do you like to customize your abilities and tinker with the mechanics with a deep crunch? Then go with Saga System. Do you like a little of both? Then go with Genesis. Even if these don't tickle your fancy, there's a multitude of fan games and fan conversions, ranging from Cortex Plus, Savage Worlds, GURPS, Fate, the Storyteller System, Dungeon World, and even some standalones like Jedi. Each one of these brings their own particular flavor and style, and they each have their own lessons to learn. How to expand a simple idea into something grand. How not to adapt a property into pre-existing mechanics. How to learn from your mistakes, and how to pursue unconventional ground. Regardless of which you pick, my only wish is that you find something that you can sit down and have fun with. Fun, after all, is why we're here. I'm not here to say which is the best or the worst, just to highlight what's out there. And there's a whole lot more out there. If you've managed to make it this far, I want to thank you for putting up with this lengthy adventure through the Star Wars RPGs. I'll have something new cooked up in a little while, but in the meantime, please look forward to what's coming next. Until then, my name is Mildra, I'm your gaming monk, stay fucking frosty everybody!